Hi guys. So today I'm reviewing the Revlon Nearly Naked uh, Makeup and the pressed powders. Yep. So let's start on with the foundation first. So Revlon recently launched this Nearly Naked collection that is the makeup and the pressed powder and um, yeah they they have launched both the liquid foundation and the pressed powder in three shades each and uh, i have the shades shell and fresh beige with me today so shell is the lightest that is that would be suitable for very very uh, fair and pale skin and fresh beige is the medium one and the well, third shade which is the darkest one that is warm beige both fresh beige and warm beige will suit majority indian skin tones and uh, warm beige is a, a a bit darker than this but it is not very very dark so again uh, it will not suit uh, people with uh, dark skin so uh, i think uh, the shade selection is very very less shade light here the lighter one is uh, shell and this one is fresh beige and there is a third shade called warm beige which is even darker coming to the texture and uh, feel of it it is uh, it is not too thick and not too runny like a proper uh, liquid foundation and uh, it spreads evenly i skipped the moisturizer and still i'm not feeling any uh, dryness or i have combination skin and i'm not feeling any dryness or anything but if you have dry patches on your skin at some parts or your cheeks then uh, this foundation will um, accentuate the dry patches so yeah uh, either scrub your skin well or use a very good uh, moisturizer before using this foundation and uh, coming to the coverage it is uh, light to medium coverage it is not something uh, that will cover all your acne scars or uh, give you a heavy coverage it is uh, light to medium coverage and uh, it is it is good for uh, daily use or something like that it is not I, I, it is not a foundation to be used for occasions or if you want to attend a marriage or an event or something like that uh, that for that you will need a heavier coverage foundation the finish is uh, dewy it is quite rich it is not something very light so if you have oily skin then you will need a powder with this and if you have uh, dry skin then you can skip a powder and you, if you like dewy finish then you can use it only the foundation i personally love dewy finish and i have combination skin so uh, if i use a rich foundation like this one i usually powder my t zone so that is how i have used the pressed powder today i only powder my t zone and skip my rest of the face since my t zone is the part which gets oily usually and uh, other than that my skin is like pretty normal and behaved so it's not much of an issue i love the fact that it photographs really well i'll show you my before after picture also i don't have too much of um, acne issue currently so i have skipped a concealer anything like that but if you have uh, heavy dark circles or uh, particular scars to hide then you will need a concealer for that because this is not something that will give you very high coverage but uh, uh, this is good for a perfect dewy finish which photographs well and light it's like a, it's like nearly naked so yeah it, it looks like your skin but better yeah that that is a that is the perfect uh, word for it. it is it is your skin but better so it uh, gives an even tone it covers your redness and stuff and uh, photographs really well gives you an spf protection of 20 and uh, yeah overall i would say i'm pretty impressed i like it the only issue is uh, it comes in three shades and uh, it comes in this glass bottle and it does not have a pump as you can see so that is another disadvantage i would say because it gets very messy while removing and applying it and you get the makeup on the edges and it's not something very hygienic and uh, yeah so uh, when the launch happened in uh, in mumbai one of the blogger had raised this question that you know why not a pump concerned a revlon person he said that we wanted to price it uh, 
at a affordable uh, range and uh, that's why we have skipped the pump so this is priced at 750 uh, it is rupees 750 for 30 ml and uh, they that's why they said that they have skipped the pump i don't know i mean globally this is without the pump so i don't think they would have changed the packaging for india anyway and us it is priced at around 10 dollars so uh, which comes to around 620 or 630 but uh, obviously they have added a bit of markup because of the customs or whatever and uh, that's why it is priced at 750 which is still a very good price for foundation because these days all foundation like uh, all foundations are about thousand uh, any good foundation uh, uh, in the market these days is about thousand so at 750 this is like pretty good i am i'm really happy with the with the texture formulation quality and the coverage uh, yeah you, uh, if you want heavy coverage you will need a concealer separately and uh, coming to the powder now so the powder has this packaging this is like a flap uh, cover which has a mirror inside see it has a mirror inside and it comes with this small powder puff this is the shade medium deep and the other shade is fair so the powder also comes in three shade fair medium deep and I think there's a deep so uh, no medium deep is the darkest I think there's a mid one there's a beige one so the fair is the lightest medium deep is the darkest and there's a mid uh, medium which is a mid shade so i thought that medium would be a better match for me but uh, i did not have it with me i only had the shade fair and i thought this would be quite light for me but when i tried it uh, it was not that light on it was not that stark of a difference i'll tell you the reason because it is it it gives very light coverage it is not uh, something which has heavy coverage it is better like you can use it as a perfect setting powder but it is not something which will give you coverage it will mattify your skin uh, and uh, set your makeup but it will not give you coverage uh, as such so yeah it will even out your skin tone and uh, give you a nice matte finish and control the oil and stuff and it also smooth i also noticed that it smoothens the pores because it is very very creamy it is like very very creamy as you can see it's like so light and creamy it, it is just it like super smooth and very very creamy it is not one of those powders that are like uh, as you put your brush and the powder the powder scatters everywhere and uh, you know uh, those are like very dry kinds this is very creamy kinds and it and it will still control your uh, oil and mattify your skin i only use it for the t-zone I'm not very happy with this powder puff this is like very small and tiny to even try and cover your whole face uh, I think a brush is better to uh, use with this powder and if you have to carry a separate brush anyway then this packaging does not make sense it is like too long and not very travel friendly a compact would be better though it has a mirror on the top but a compact with a uh, uh, bigger powder puff and a mirror would have been better but then yeah this this is how the packaging is not very travel friendly i would say but yeah uh, using a brush is any day better with this and uh, more convenient and i love how creamy it is and uh, i think it is perfect for sensitive skin oily skin dry skin i think this is this, this is the best powder for any skin type the only problem is the number of shades the issue uh, is the packaging and the number of shades only three shades are available in both i would have loved more shades i mean the foundation uh, comes in around 15 to 16 shades in the us and the uk but for india there are just three shades 
this is just a shell which is the lightest fresh beige which is the medium and the warm beige which is the darkest whereas i have seen uh, medium beige true beige deep beige and so many other shades like around 16 shades uh, in the us and uk and uh, the foundation uh, the pressed powder comes in three shades that is pear medium deep and the mid one is uh, medium i suppose but yeah Overall, um, I'm quite happy. The the pressed powder is priced at rupees seven twenty five, and that is eight gram of products, and it is like a lot of product, a lot of product. I mean, it it will be very difficult to hit pan on the, this once you buy it, and um, yeah, I love the quality of the powder. It is uh, very soft and creamy and smooth, and uh, it will even out your skin even out your skin tone and uh, cover some of your pores and even mattify your skin but will not dry it out or uh, will not feel uh, cakey or will not give a whitish cast uh, i i i am in love with the texture of it and uh, even the foundation is like very light uh, and gives medium coverage gives a dewy finish and it is actually as appropriately uh, I mentioned your skin but better kind of foundation so uh, both of the, both the foundation and powder are not something which will give you a which will give you too much coverage because it's nearly naked range so yeah uh, both the foundation and powder are meant to give you your skin but better kind of look and also it somehow matches your skin tone so you, overall I would say I am quite impressed with the foundation and the powder and it's very good for uh, evening out your skin tone and if you want something uh, to use on a regular basis like for your work or college or anything as such then i think this is your best bet i mean you can also uh, uh, skip the foundation and only try the powder the powder is also nice but if you have oily skin you will need the powder over over this foundation because it gives a dewy finish and it's it's a bit rich so if you have combination to dry skin this will be your perfect fit and uh, if you have oily skin you will need to uh, use a powder on top and the powder i would say is a very good setting powder and um, if you're looking for coverage from a powder then i don't think uh, this will help you much but uh, I'm, I'm i'm completely in love with the texture of the powder it is very very creamy and soft and i i think i have mentioned creamy a lot of times now in this video but then yeah i'm actually very happy with the uh, powder does it it is a powder but it does not feel like a powder that's how i would uh, say it is so yeah this is my review and yeah i will uh, also show you a demo of how to use it so yeah here is the demo I am wearing it right now. I am wearing the shade uh, Fresh Beige that is the mid shade and yeah this is how it looks. So here is the before and after picture. I would definitely recommend it. It is out in the market already now so it will be available on most of the Revlon counters. So and even online I will spot a counter then match your shade and try it out at the counter maybe ask for a sample. 
and maybe try it home uh, for a day or so so yeah this is my review if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please uh, share and comment and subscribe see you next time bye